And finally tonight, a mystery. $1.2 million in cash have vanished. Fistfuls of $100 bills supposed to be making safe passage to the Federal Reserve. So how could anyone breach the lofty security of the Federal Reserve? ABC's Dan Harris has this strange tale. In movies like Ocean's Eleven, the heists always have a certain panache. They're so ambitious and they wear such great suits. Then there are those bold, caught-on-tape, smash-and-grab jobs like the crooks who raided a mall in London on motorcycles. Or this $900,000 Rolex robbery at a mall in Atlanta this week. Look at this again. The thieves pull out hammers, grab the watches, and then they're gone in seconds. But the heist involving Swiss Air Flight 17 was much more stealthy and discreet. It involved three crates filled with $93 million in cash, put in a shipping container, and loaded onto the flight from Zurich to New York's JFK airport. Somewhere along the way, somebody poked an arm-sized hole into one of the crates and grabbed 12 bundles of cash, each worth hundred grand, all in $100 bills. Such modest goals. With 93 million bucks up for grabs, the robber or robbers snatched a mere 1.2 mil. You think it's possible that we had a, a thief with modest aims here who said 1.2 mil? That's enough for me. The smart, the sophisticated, the professional thief is more than satisfied with 1.2 million as a day's profit. Former NYPD detective Nick Casal points out that criminals involved in these high-profile heists, like the 1978 cash and jewel heist featured in the movie Goodfellas, from the scene of the heist at JFK, usually get caught, and he predicts the Swiss air bandit will too. While the perpetrator right now is celebrating with a beer watching the show, he is going to get caught. <laughs> Enjoy your beer. Dan Harris, ABC News, New York.